Nothing under the carpet. Did you expect something? Apart from the dust swept under there by a lazy chambermaid. A tin knight. Well, well. The key tucked behind a picture. it? Let's see. Regis? Regis! Land of a thousand fables. Incredible. Hmm. Let's see where this road takes me. There's no way to dispel it. Let him out! Voices. He gobbled up my gingerbread! Now it's my turn to gobble him! <laughs> You open it. Now, who's this? 
the lost traveler? You're not supposed to be here, sweetie. Why, you're old. Old and pale. But never worry. A bit of butter, a bit of spice, and you'll make a tasty morsel. Just as soon as I catch you. A wicked witch. Oh, you've heard of her, haven't you? Now, where did you put that key? Listen, I... How'd you come by a weapon? It's Prince Charming's. He no longer needs it. Here it is. <coughs> Thank you. She'd have begged me for certain if you'd not... Is that you? It's been years, Jack. H have you come to play? No, I just want your beans, so you can breathe easy. Beans? What beans? <clears throat> Try not to interrupt. Well, Jack, where are they? Sienna, I, I, I'm sorry, but, but I haven't got them. Something tells me you're lying. Perhaps you wish to play the old games after all, hmm? This little picky went to market. This little picky went home. For instance. I'm telling the truth. I swear it. Anarieta, she ordered them buried all over so you wouldn't be able to leave. Where? I... I don't know. B but Joss, the boy with the thing for wolves, he should know. He sticks his nose in everyone's affairs. He had better know, because if not, I'll find you and we'll have ourselves a little talk. Understand? Now shoo. Ah, all right. So why is it you're here? to free you. Nice of you, but a waste of your effort. I plan to free myself. You might, you might not. Bound to be easier with my help, as our most recent adventure amply showed. Mm-hmm. Yet I still don't know why you even give a damn. It's Dedlof. He's trying to force Anna Henrietta's hand. Wants her to release you. 
Summoned monsters to attack Beauclair. Sounds like dead lawful, right? But I doubt you came all this way just to bring me up to speed on current events. So get to the point, please. Isn't it obvious? Offering to be your ally. We both want you out of here. You because you want your freedom back. Me because as soon as you meet with Deadloff, he'll put an end to the chaos in the city. You exposed me. I landed in prison because of you. Now you come to beg my help, I dare say. My life is full of surprises, isn't it? Well, normally I'd tell you to sod off. But, from what you say, folk are dying who have nothing to do with this. Not part of the plan. Deadloff was only to kill those who deserved it. No one else. Fine, Witcher. I accept your offer. Consider us allies. Shake on it. Curse of the Black Sun. That's why you were banished, right? Mm-hmm. Twisted princesses, mutants. I'm certain you've heard of us. Even met one of you. And free of Craden. And? Was she truly monstrous? She was cruel, that's certain. But what caused it? The curse or what she went through? Asking myself to this day. You killed her, didn't you? Had no choice. Funny. Mum said the same when she tossed me out of the house. Since you brought it up, the knights Detloff killed. What exactly did they do to you? Crespi, Duak, Aqua, Peyrek Perrin? Not a memory I enjoy revisiting, but I suppose you deserve to know. When my parents disowned me, they ordered those very knights to escort me beyond the duchy's borders. All did so without uttering a single word in my defense. Like you said, they had their orders. Mm -hmm. But Crespi was not ordered to beat me unconscious with a horsewhip after my first attempt at escape. And Ulak had no instructions to deny me food and abuse me. I learned something then. Knights are not so chivalrous when no one's watching. That explains a lot. Shocked, aren't you? You must have thought you had me pegged. Before bothering to hear my side. Everyone does that. This place... Tell me something more. It's an illusion, right? Yes. Created by Arturius Vigo. Anna, Henrietta and I would come here to play out scenes from our favorite fables. Which didn't seem like she was playing. Magical entropy. Without maintenance, the spell gradually disintegrates over time. It grows wild. Your sister chose a dangerous place for your prison. It's deceptive. Provided I don't provoke them, the fairy tale characters don't attack me. But you, you don't belong here. So you had best be on your watch. So, what's with the beans? Mind explaining? Hmm, certainly. But you must gird yourself with patience. There are two ways out of this land. My darling sister blocked one when she tossed me in here. The other's up there, in the clouds. She made it hard, but not impossible to access by concealing the beans. Still don't understand. Don't fret, just listen. That boy, that was Jack, of Beanstalk fame. You know the tale? Jack. Climbed a gigantic beanstalk to a giant's castle, high up in the clouds. As we shall do if we can just find those blasted beans. There are three. One red, one blue, one yellow. Huh. Stock won't sprout from just one? No, because it must transpire exactly as it did in the tale. Clear now? So we must find Joss. Perhaps he will be able to help us. You lead. Joss can usually be found wandering the glade at the foot of the mount. It's some distance from here, past the witch's house to the right. So, what exactly is happening in the city? Bloodshed. A massacre. Which is why we gotta hurry. You needn't fret. Time flows differently in the fatal sphere. We can stay here a week, yet outside mere minutes will have passed.
Watch out, pixies! 